uh, Ski, let's get down to business, dog. All right. How did the name Ski Ski come about? You know, that's funny, man. People always ask, and it's like, how did a joke become a career? But basically, I used to collect vintage mopeds. I still do. And everyone used to call me Scooter because I'd ride them around. Right. They were Scooters, but they were mopeds. So from Scooter to Skeeter to Skeeter Bluff to just Skeet, and then like Skeet Skeet kind of came to me as a, like, you know, a funny alias for my DJ mixtapes or remixes right. or whatever. Not thinking it would go anywhere. We just sit on MySpace. Before you know, people started liking it and asking to play parties. And now I'm at the Grove Anaheim playing for 2,000 people. So you still collect those mopeds? I do, man. I, like, I got like three Pooks, a couple of uh, Peugeots, and um, a couple of Foxies that are broken down. But it's beginning to be a, a costly obsession. So from scooters, how do you go into DJing? What made you get into DJing? You know what's wild, man, is I always, I grew up in the Midwest, actually. I actually grew up in Davenport, Iowa. Mm -hmm. And I used to go to the mall and get uh, the kiosks and get like Bad Boy Bill mixtapes and other like Chicago House mixtapes. And um, I just had a passion for dance music. And then I started playing, you know, punk and hardcore bands collecting vinyl and from hardcore bands and dance records and before you know it, I wanted to mix them and I figured it out from a buddy of mine and down the road it just kind of made sense so started playing clubs and making a career out of it. No, no. Now what was your first big break? First big break? You know what? Uh, that's a good question. Yeah, I put together these mixtapes and started giving them to my friends and uh, one of them became a club promoter, asked me to do the club. I did it. I played shit no one's ever heard before. And that was kind of the biggest break is because once you get in the Hollywood scene, you know, the promoters, right. you start DJing clubs, word spreads, and that's kind of that. But um, I guess that and uh, I guess uh, I did a remix of No Diggity by Black Street. They kind right. of did well, did well on the, on the web and, you know, that helps. Internet's a crazy thing, man. Now, just in case somebody wants to download some of your tracks, where can they get them at? Uh, they're on CrooklynClan.net, which is kind of a big DJ sharing music site. But they're also on my MySpace. Uh, I have them on my blog, EatSkeet.com. Okay. Uh, they're kind of all over. I try and give it as much away for free as possible, you know what I mean? Right. Now, let's talk about a little bit more about your career. What influenced you to be more of a DJ? You know what? I mean, even to this day, like, being a DJ is funny to me because I grew up playing in full bands, like, playing guitar and keys and, like, hardcore bands, metal bands. And uh, DJing is just fun, you know what I mean? At the end of the day, you get sick of being in shitty bands right. and traveling in bands to veteran halls. And you end up trying to dabble and make pizza on your own and... Uh, you know, play fun music. It doesn't matter. Right. It doesn't have to be yours. It can be anybody's. Right. Now, what some, are, what some DJs do you look up to? What are some of the DJs that, that influence you as a DJ? You know what? Um, it sounds cheesy, but AM is you know, a good friend of mine. And that dude constantly impresses me just because I mean, he's like the biggest American club DJ. Yeah. The nicest guy in the whole world. Everything he can to give back. And he keeps pushing the bar with the Serato stuff, the digital DJing. Every day he gets better. And it's crazy. He could just chill out and make 30 grand a night and not worry about it. But he keeps pushing himself, which is amazing. Right, right. Now, what gets you in the mood to make a remix? Uh, you know what? I mean, it changes every time. I just did one for a new artist on Shirt Tone called Lex Lutha. She's actually in the bus chilling. But, um... I heard the track, had an idea, you start putting together some stuff, doing right. some vocal chops, and it kind of just flows. It's like painting a picture, don't you got to throw some paint in the wall, and oh, that could be something, that could be something, <laughs> yeah, that yeah, could yeah. be something, and you just run with it, man. That's what's up. Now, how did you get linked up with Cisco and Swayze? I was actually DJing a party for Nylon and Diesel okay. at uh, South by Southwest in Austin, Texas. Okay. So it's just, you know, it's just steaming with a bunch of musicians. We started talking. They had a project. We came in, you know, working some things, and before you know it, Three of us were playing shows for 20, and then it was 40, and then it was 80, and now it's 2,000. And it's like, it's still crazy that it's happening this fast. That's what's up. Now, has there ever been a time where you as a DJ just don't want to do it no more, where times have been too hard, and you're just like, man, I'm going to put the turntables away and do something else? You know what? I, I really haven't gotten to that point. It, it's tough playing, like, bullshit Becky stuff in Vegas for people that don't right. even care. Because the passion for me is the art form. I like breaking new records. I like pushing people artistically to like explore new realms of music. Right. Because to me, life's about finding that next record. It makes you want to fucking get up and dance around a little bit. That's but playing where people don't care and it's just about bottle service and models <laughs> can hurt you. Now, you run a clothing line by the name of VelvetLeaf.com, correct? Yeah, yeah. It's Velvet Leaf. It's an all organic, sustainable line. I actually run it with these two girls from Northern California. And they handle the bulk of it right now because I've been touring and traveling. Uh, I mean, there are some really talented girls, Becky and Laura Carter. And right now, I kind of handle mostly business stuff, a little bit of the design stuff, making sure, that, you know, the right, right. get across and the eyes get dotted, basically. Now, as a DJ, where do you see yourself in the next two, three, four, even five years? You know, that's a great question. It's all come so fast, and hopefully I can just maintain. I'm riding the wave as far as I can. I want to get out to Europe a bunch more. I was out in Europe two weeks ago, played for like 10 days. It right. was so much fun. I and mean, people out there... Crazy. I mean, it's have a good time. Right. I mean, DJ until, you know, 7 in the morning and people still raging. 
Doesn't yeah. get much better. Right. You're also dropping on your on your website, which is eatskeet.com. Yeah. You're dropping a lot of mixes, like yeah, monthly. Yeah, I mean, I try to just put out good music. That's my thing. It's right. like I got an obsession with music. I just love music, and the more I can get it out there for whatever purpose, right? You know, the better. I mean, I put out trap lists, and people can get exposure. It's just kind of a nice thing for me to do. Now, you know. what, what kind of advice can you give to an upcoming DJ or someone that wants to become a DJ? Definitely, just pursue what you want to pursue. I mean, I was playing house music and dance music for years. And nobody cared. I mean, it was just crappy techno. You know what I mean? It wasn't right. called house. It was like, quit playing techno. And then Daft Punk played Coachella and the Justice, Mastercraft, whatever thing happened. And now I get, you know, paid to fly around and play awesome music. So And just travel the world, do what you do. Yeah, well, do what you love a, doing, right? Yeah, if you're into Baile, Kuduru, well, you know, fucking reggaeton, whatever you're into, like, right. just play it. It doesn't matter what people think, just play it. That's what's up. Now, let's get, for more people to get more info about DJ Skeet Skeet, yeah. there's eatskeet.com. Yeah, on the MySpace forward slash straight butterscotch yo which again is like a, a kids reference to the movie kids i didn't really think i'd be a dj forever so and also <laughs> i was on, i was on your mosque the other day and i saw this topanga thing <laughs> yeah that was kind of a joke man i was like thinking about resigning my myspace and everyone made him look so cool but like right. flashy everyone was like tough guy posing with like bling and i just thought it'd be funny to make mine like spacey with topanga chilling up top i thought I, I think that was probably one of the most greatest mosque spaces i've ever been on like, I log on to it and I see Topanga, I'm like, man, Topanga's hot. Topanga? Classic babe. Classic babe from our generation. Exactly. And then she's telling you to go to eatskeet.com. You know, which is just creepy in itself. The best is when grandparents are like, eat skeet. I like that. And I'm like, really, Granny? All right, interesting. That made me go to that website and just download your tracks. Oh, dope. See? And just read your blogs and read what everybody else is saying. And I was like, man, Topanga made it. You know what I mean? It made yeah. it. It made that MySpace like 100 times greater than anybody's MySpace out in the so world. So maybe that's a tip. Keep it fresh. That's what's up. Any shout outs, Doc? Yeah, I mean, uh, the whole Shrazy crew, obviously, Shirt Tone Records, LA Riots, Flo Rumble, Classics, Acid Girls, uh, Not Your Lovers, Jokers of the Scene, all my people who are doing it and doing it proper. Topanga Lovers. Topanga Lovers. <laughs> TGIF Lovers. Fuck it. I, yeah, t I love. Man, those were the good days when TV was dope. I know, right? What are you, I don't even watch nothing anymore. Yeah, everything's whack now. You heard it first from DJ Ski Ski on the Swayze Tour. It's your boy A's representing Megacron.com. For more info on the homeboy DJ Ski Ski, log on to his website, which is eatskeet.com, myspace.com forward. Is it? It's Butterscotch Show? Straight Butterscotch Show. It's close. It's Just close. go to eatskeet.com. Don't worry about it. All the links are there. For yeah. blogs, for downloading this track, it's all there. Eatskeet.com. Once yeah. again, it's your boy A's representing Megacron.com. You know what it is.